me tell you what happened with me, Ramfried, and my husband, Harold. It's all about brutality and death, but also about love for our daughter, Sigrid, and Harold. He was a joyful slob who drank and embezzled everything. But I had sworn never to leave him. Fresh Olive Farm. I've inherited the estate for my ancestors. My family have been living here for generations, and I also had a good life at my home with my husband Harold until the day. You've ruined us all! Feasting and drinking, the gods know that we will soon have it even worse than the slaves! We might even have to marry off Sigrid! Think about that, you bastard! Should I be forced to marry off my daughter, I'll show you who's the ruler here. Without silver, you're no ruler by anything! We need at least three barrels. Bring your best men and sail off to Kernogord with slaves and leather. Come home within two summers or it's over. Yes, Rangfried. Are you going to ruin my life? Mary off to some old slob! Don't you worry, Sigrid. You can trust your father. Let the seer predict your journey, Harold. Slaves from my cousin. Thor will calm down soon, Ulfjorn. Wish for taking Torstenskog. What do you say, Torke? Well, I say, beautiful good scrabbling. <laughs> Worth a lot of silver. Harold, I am with you on your journey. And may Freya protect you. Father, please hurry back. We are going to Kernogord. And after two summers, we'll be back home. They sailed across the sea, up the rivers, traveled over land and along new rivers. After two lunar months, they finally approached Kernogord. I can see the city! How many steeples can you count with just one eye, Togge? <laughs> 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 Strong and healthy slaves, real ermine fur for sale, and young and beautiful slaves. <laughs> Harold had sold all leather and half of the slaves, but they were still lacking a barrel of silver. We must continue and sell the rest of the slaves in Miklogord. There they pay twice as much. The seer has spoken about the robbers along the river. Beware, Harold.
everything. The silver, slaves, and Toki was dead. Harold arranged a funeral pyre where the flames brought Toki's spirit to Valhall. And our life back home at the farm had turned into a nightmare. Harold, we are sick and have almost no food left. Father, please come home soon. They finally arrived at Miklagord. Never had they seen a richer city, but they had nothing to sell, so they couldn't buy anything. They saw Aya Sophia, the holy church of wisdom. The god of Christianity's house was like heaven on earth. army to earn the silver. Blood has flowed in rivers. What was Harold's reward? A mere bag of silver. We're missing more than two barrels. We must move on, Harold. On the other side of the sea, they carried north, through forests, over high mountains. They followed the rivers on to Germania's plains and arrived at the kingdom of Dane. They came to Hedeby, a horrific place. This is a true Finally, story. The sea, the ship, over there. They're Norwegians. They're armed for combat, yet there's hope to save the farm and our glory. And the glory. They sailed with the Norwegians. They plundered and burned villages, cities, and a monastery on Michael's Rock. Yes, Renfried. Silver! Six barrels! <laughs> Finally, they went home. The fighting was over. They fought. Pirates! My silver! Save my silver! Let my sword be the raven! Look out! Behind you, John! Finally, we won the battle. Lord Bjorn saved my silver. I bet that the Valkyries already have taken him to Bolvor. Yes, there is surely a feast there now. And so my tale ended happily. Well, this time. <laughs> we arranged a feast, seldom seen. Silver! Six! Thank you, Father, for not marrying me off. My beloved daughter. Next year we'll take Sandland, Harold. You never let me rest, Grandfried. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 